Evening, penultimate match of Norfolk Angling Club's Summer League and we're at Cart Gap. We've got 23 booked in, sea's nice and calm, we're fishing the ebbing tide 7 till 10.30. Uh, all looks pretty calm, there's been smooth hounds everywhere, probably will be again tonight, but I fancy uh, fishing for a flat fish, you know it by now. But the, the monies and all the rest of it are split up. 25% goes to the lucky peg, which is basically a raffle. 25% for the biggest flat fish, 25% for the biggest round fish, and 25% for the winner. So you can do what you like. The idea is just to have a good evening out, and that's why we're managing to keep the numbers up, I think. But that's what the sea looks like. Hopefully there'll be a lovely big Dover sole or flounder down there. Right, here we go, draws underway. Well, slowly but surely. But uh, anyway, we want to peg down to the right for this flatfish thing to work. There is a lot of peeler crabs changing hands in this car park, so smooth hounds are on the agenda, but we can't be bothered with that. We are going to see if we can get a decent flatty. <laughs> you never know, it might be a bass here as well. Twenty-one. There you go, mate. Eight. Ten. Ten. Where's that? Bad place. Oh. Is what it is. Right here we are, peg ten. Just to the right of, um, no, to the left of the slipway. If you know uh, Cart Gap, I've got Chris Gates to my right, and my travelling companion Leon to my left. Now we fished about six or seven matches in here over the years and every time it's been one right up there to the right. So the ones I've been in anyway. So we got some good anglers down there with plenty of peeler crabs and there's some bit of rough ground up that end I think so that might be the reason why. But nonetheless I fully expect there to be a load of smooth hounds here or down there anyway. and. Um, up here I've had a few chucks around and we're on really clean sand so the chance of uh, something or other is good. So I am going to edge my bets, three hook flapper, I've got some frozen crabs which I'm going to cut into bits. So I'm going to put that on one hook, I'm going to put a ragworm on the middle hook and lugworms on the top hook and hopefully if there's anything there of any description we'll catch it. But yeah, starting to edge our bets a bit and try different baits rather than just going for the same same approach which is do or die so we'll do that and then if we get to dark and we're still not doing any good and we still haven't caught a, anything decent then we'll uh, two hook flapper long snoods drop it in the edge and hope there's a nice big sole in darkness but it does look fishy so hopefully there'll be a few fish knocking around and we can get some on camera from at least someone but Leon is the ace when it comes to flounders. He'll drop a four ounce lead and a three hook flapper out about 30 yards and he normally catches them. So we got Chris down there. He's uh, gonna have a go for a Dover sole. First time he's been with us this year. So nice to see him. And there's my mate, Leon. Yeah, it's on there. Three hook flapper, look, simple as you like. Oh, there. Five ounce lead on the bottom. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is yours to lose, Leon. <laughs> <laughs> we have, and the bait's there, some lugworms, some frozen crabs, and in that tub there's a few ragworm. So yeah, hopefully that'll be enough to get us something on the card. And Leon does the same every time he comes out. It'll be blow lug and squid on one hook and straight lug on the other two and he'll catch whatever's in front of him. But beautiful still evening but as Leon said earlier they're not always the nights that are the most productive but it is nice to sit here and have a cup of coffee. We've got half hour yet for kickoff so we're, we're in good time. I've seen Neil who's a couple of pegs down and John Spolton if they get anything really good they'll give us a shout and we'll go down and have a look but Beautiful summer's evening, it's mid-June.
Right, we're ready to go. So it's a size two hook, and how could anything resist that? Look at that beautiful little ragworm and crab cocktail on the bottom, rag on the middle, lugworm on the top. Got to catch a fish. Two minutes, and we'll be a bit in the water. Right, first cast is in the water and I am really confident looking out there. Could catch anything. I love this three small baits as opposed to one giant one. Gives you so many chances of getting so many species. Uh, there's a lot of anglers that think the same and some that just like pelting great big crab baits out and uh, catching massive smooth hounds and we've got a few of them here tonight. So I'm sure they'll do really well. But it's each to their own and uh, when you're on these club matches it's just a it's just a good night out really apart from anything else i thoroughly enjoy it and uh, usually manage to catch something so conditions like this you'd think if there's a dover sole here just before the water clears up tonight's tonight someone should get one or a big flounder or something like that For a change it's not chucking it down with rain for one of the few days this spring i'd say got to make the most of it chris's first to strike about 15 yards out lit leal that's it that's enough as if he's shorter than the ruler he gets a certain amount of points if he's uh, longer than the ruler he gets some more so he's shorter than the ruler <laughs> But doesn't matter, you'll get good points for him, you're on the card. <laughs> That's it. Bit of may rot in the water and it smells a bit, that foam on the edge. But that's where he's uh, just extracted that eel from, so. There he goes. That's him on the card. He could win this match if no one else catches anything. Perhaps that's what I should have done, fish for eels in the edge. Early days though, and you've got to, got to have faith in there being something better out there. Leon next. I haven't had a bite yet, but he's got an eel as well. What's he done to your trace? <laughs> Ruined it. <laughs> Has he? Yeah, mm -hmm. good. I'm pleased he has. <laughs> oh well. I'm not eel fishing, no. <laughs> Looking along the beach, it's all very, very quiet. Apart from them two eels, I've seen nothing at all. That's not to say that up the other end of the beach isn't fishing completely different, but I could drop tiny little baits in the edge just inside that surf and see if I could get an eel, but the aim of the game tonight is to try and get a flatty, a good one at that, but at the moment, not working. Switch to the boom rigs, but I'm thinking there's these uh, earth rigs, five or six foot long. I'm thinking of alternating between the boom rig and that and see if we can get a big flounder, a dover sole, or maybe a bass. But anyway, we've got two rods set up and um, you can only use one at a time, but I'm alternating the rigs on them. Just scratching around really, just trying to find something that works. Oh, Leon got that one eel and so did Chris. They've had nothing else since. We're losing the light though and that always helps. That could make it a bit better. It's really shallow. You can see the water lifting up there about 30 odd yards out. So we're going to try in that surf. If I was a bass or a flounder or so, I'd be in there. At low water, could be good. We're well into the match now and I'm afraid there's not a lot to, to report. There's a dogfish further down to my left, but apart from that, now I'm trying um, long snoods on booms and hitting it just the other side of that sandbar. And hopefully there'll be a bass and a flounder and a sole and a skate and everything over there. Beautiful evening. What are you doing that's different? Anything? Nothing. Nothing. I'm still going for eels. Oh yeah? You can keep them. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Oh yeah. Beautiful sunset and we're now losing the light. Unfortunately, um, 
I'm fishing like a muppet. I just can't. I haven't had a bite. I haven't had anything. I've tried four or four different types of rigs, all sorts: rigglers, crab, blow lug. Just nothing's working at the minute. But we're in it to the end, and the last cast could be the time we get something good. So we just got to keep plugging away. But whatever happens, we've got another match next week at Kellin, and then we start the King of the Shingle series. He's got 35 booked in for that, so that should be all right. Let's just hope I um, up my game a bit, because at the moment, nah, not good. Right, disappointingly, last cast is in the water. We've lost all the water. We've got a lovely gully on the inside and then a sandbank, um, and then it's just so shallow. But that's not to say, there's no tide. So I don't know, I've dropped this one in about 20 yards out. The baits are just getting stripped to bits within about three or four minutes by banging it out there. So it's not worked going on the back of that sandbar. So right inside, I imagine this had fished quite well on the flood because this big old gully in here, you have got a bit of depth at high tide and when the tide runs in, it'll come in left to right and then uh, whiz around these groins. I imagine that'd be quite good, but tonight, in this groin there's been two little eels nothing else that's not to say it hasn't fished its absolute head off up the other up the other end but we'll see in a minute won't we if i don't get anything on this cast i'm going to try my best see if there's a, just a flounder laying up in there if not we'll see you in the car park all right are we ready right an ultimate match of the, the season Pandora's box, good for some and not for others. So, in in our <coughs> traditional order, in fifth place, Lloyd with two fish, 98 points. Lloyd. Fourth place, uh, one fish, 278, Steve Medler. Uh, thir third place with two fish and 332 weight points, Dwayne Lockwood. Now we're getting to the silly numbers. <laughs> In second place, Jamie Medler, seven fish, one four or three. One thousand four hundred and three. And then in first place, with eight fish, two thousand six hundred and nine, Julian Lovick. Well done, Julian. You got this smooth elm fishing leak, didn't you? Well done. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go off. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> right, big, <laughs> biggest, biggest flat. A 33 centimetre flounder. Julian. Hey. Hey. This is going to pay your mortgage. <laughs> <if you're laughs> right. 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 And the biggest round was a 103 centimetre hound. Julian again. Hey. Hey. Right, I think you should do a speech now. <laughs> draw, draw a lucky peg, please. But, but if it's yours, it ain't go, it's going back in. Pete Simmons. Hey. <laughs> First time ever. <laughs> Cheers, Ian. Pete. Thank you very much. Right. Next week is the last match of the, of the Summer League, although summer hasn't really started yet, and that'll be at Kelling. So that's, if anybody's going to be late, and we, because the gate shuts at six, so can you let me know, and we'll manage it from there. All right? All right, have a safe ride home. Yep. Cheers, Thanks, Simon. Thanks very much. Well done, Julian. That's amazing, mate. Well done, 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 mate.